Alright guys, what is up? Today in this retro bit, booze retro bit, whatever, I'm gonna be looking at one of my favorite concerts of all times. This is in the top, probably three. I'm not sure I'm gonna put it as third, but th it, this is how it goes in the console hierarchy. Atari Jaguar, Vectrex, and then one of the British home computers from the eight. I love sort of old British technology like the Z, like the Spectrum and stuff. So let's just let's let's jump right into it. There's a picture of the Vectrex, as you can see. It was a it was built in the nineteen early nineteen eighties, nineteen eighty two, I believe it was I believe it was released. So it had it's basically the first portable games console ever because it had a built in CRT TV. And unlike other consoles, it ran on something called Vector Graphics, whereas at the time their other consoles were running on polygons. And that's how they've always run, but I, I really love vector graphics, like the arcade vector games are so cool. I know there's some cool tank v vector games out on the market right now, but I haven't really had a chance to play on this. Let's just jump in, let's see what I'm... I'm going to just choose a random game to start with, and I'm going to go through a few of my favourites. Oh, here we go, yeah. So, as it loads, I'm using an emulator because I don't own an actual Vectrex because I'm not that fucking cool. I've always wanted a Vectrex. Always. Once I get out of my overdraft, I'm gonna get an Vector. So this is Berserk. I always use the wrong keys. So this game's been out on a lot of consoles. And basically you just go from room for room. You have to, you don't really have to kill them, but it does help. Like this room's jam-packed with them, so let's just kill as many as we can. And hopefully it will come in a second, but there's this um bouncy ball thing that you have to avoid. It's like the ball of death. I don't know the exact names for them. Where is it? I guess that's where it's like. This. It'll probably come. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, you. It can't. Alright, it'll come quicker on the next few levels. And I'm pretty sure soon. soon they're, yeah, they're gonna start shooting back at me. Let's get this guy. Ah! Oh, well, I died already. That's a bouncy ball guy. I haven't played this for a long time. I'm really bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm using the wrong keys. Calm down, mate. Please. Whoa. So I'm just gonna play one more life because I, I really enjoy this. If if you also like Berserk, tell me what your favorite port of it is. And if if you know what the bouncing ball thing was called, this one's easy. Now I just need to make sure that I, the walls are also electrified, if I remember rightly. So you have to be careful there. The ball came. Let's see if I can do. Alright, these guys are sh I think the guys with the eyes shoot at you. Whoa, that was close. Let's try and do one more room, and then I'm gonna move on to another game. This is probably one of my most played games on the Vectrex. Or the Vectrex emulator, should I say. Next we have a game called Cosmic Chasm. I'm not sure how to- The Vectrex had overlays to make it color. I'll put a picture of it now, but I can't seem to figure it out on this emulator. So I'm sorry for that once again. Let's just start. Is it button three? Oh, it's button. F Don't know which button it is. The Vectrex is like four buttons and a little joypad. I'm never sure which buttons. After not playing it for a while. See, I'm not sure how... That's all I had to do, was it? Mission 1. Or did I just restart? <laughs> I probably just restarted, no, me, because I'm fucking stupid. Did I just restart? I have to go down. So I think I have to kill everything, and I have to drill through it? I can't... Oh, no, I did it right. Thing of a Vectrex is you go for high scores. I, uh, I'm doing something wrong here. I'm definitely doing something wrong. I haven't played this for about, what, five, six years? Oh no, I'm doing something right. I'm moving on. I'm moving on to the land. So, using that theory, I can just do that. I'm losing lives, so that's not how it works. Okay, so another cool feature the Vectrex had was the light pen, which worked very similar to, I'm just gonna go for music. Uh, voice to on loud compose. All right, let's go. So it works very similar to a light gun for like the old CRT TVs. Like the PlayStation had point point blank or point break. That was one of my favorite games ever with the light gun. Nin Nintendo had their obvious duck duck chase. No, 
that gun of the game, DuckTales. No, DuckTales, no. I forget, my head's gone blank. But, C, C, F, F, G. Yes, that's, uh, the light pen doesn't seem to work very well. I, or I can't figure out how to compose. Uh, loop. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I never really had tried that before. I just wanted to try it out because I've never really played the Vectress Light Pen games. It adds a bit more life. Yeah, yeah, let's go. This is basically an Asteroids clone, but in Vector Graphics, so it's better. Because anything Vector Graphics is better. Well, I, I might actually try and make a game. I, I made a game a while back, but it was really awful. And I really want to try and make a game in Vector style. But I'm not sure how that would work on... Would I just... Fake Polygon Vector on the iPhone? Woo! Did it. So this is probably one of the better games. Come here. No! <laughs> I love the Vector graphics. For 1982, this graphics would have been freaking awesome. So people are still messing around with Vectrex and doing coding for it. And this is just, I think someone literally just drew a picture on it and then made it into a ROM. But there's a few of these Pokemon demos and I'm not sure. Let's just have another look at, let's have a quick look at another one. So this is the other Pokemon demo I downloaded. Gotta catch them all. It's just a Pikachu. So I'm not sure what this is. I just downloaded it because I thought it'd be interesting, but. Next we have a game that I've. <coughs> I have really bad cough at the moment, I'm not sure why. But I remember the first time I saw this, I don't think I quite believed that this would be like on an 80s computer. Just the vector graphics are so awesome. I can't remember which button is to go forward, but we'll figure it out. Two. Oh shit, you got gears as well, that's cool. You got. I have two gears. That's pretty cool. I don't remember that. Or I just, or unless I just never did it. See ya, suckers! <laughs> I, I died. I can't remember when you have to change gear. So I can't even remember having a second gear. But yeah, like I said, vector graphics are pretty awesome. Compared to... Compared to some of the games that are out of time, this stuff would have been mind-blowing for me. I, d I just... The vectors are cool. Does the light pen do anything on this game? No. Now we're getting into one of my favorite games ever for the Vectrex. <sighs> I love this game. And you'll probably see why now. Alright, let's just... Game 1. We want, please. It's button 4. I always press 3 by mistake. So I'm not used to a keyboard. Ha ha ha! I'm dead already! <laughs> oh my lord. Ready, Captain. I used to be good at this. What happened to me? Where are they, Jimmy? There. Oh, what? I used to... <laughs> it's making me sad that I'm not good at this now I'm recording. Shame I didn't... I don't think it saves high scores either. Maybe it's because I've had a few drinks by this point. Yeah, I give up. I, that, as you can see, I, I love... It's a... F it's a... Sh you're, you're, sh you're shooting spacecrafts and it's Star Wars. What more can I say? So now I'm just loading up a... This game was made in 1999. I believe. I always thought this was a, this was a newer game. Made by a home brewer. So I don't remember it. Back in on the original Vectrex lineup. I'm I'm awful. I like the sound effects there, it's cool. Not I know there are some people that like spent time programming music into it. Might have a quick look. Okay, so I couldn't really find any of what I, what I was just described to you of music, but if you want to look, like, get into the Vedrix, there's quite a lot of stuff, and there's still a very active homebrew community, as long as far as I remember. 
There's also a really cool app you can get for the iPhone. I'm not sure it's on Android, actually. If you just type in Vectrex on the App Store, it comes up and you get loads of cool stuff. I know I've played on the app quite a bit. A little bit tricky to control on the iPhone, but... I think you can actually buy a controller for it. Actually, wait. If, if you can, I'm going to put a picture on the screen right now of the Vectrex thing you can buy for the iPhone that turns your iPad into a Vectrex. And I, I believe it's really cool, because I think I actually wanted one a while back. Anyway, I'm going to have to end this video now, otherwise it's, got, it's gone on for a long time. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. If you hated it, give a thumbs down. Comment in the description, tell me why. If you really want to subscribe, I'm going to try and do a retro bit every Monday or every week, whenever the day I set for it is. I always forget which day my schedules are. Thank you. Come again. Come again. I'm fucking a poo from Simpsons.